Welcome to another episode of So I Bought a Canoe. Um, I've showed you guys videos of me shaping it, trying to get the belly back and all that other stuff, so I'll show you guys some of the things I've done. In the meantime, left it out in the sun for a week, I think it was, water in it to stretch out the belly. Um, I also put in, found this old chair for five bucks at the thrift store, so I cut it all up and I used the pieces that I, that were strongest, I guess, put it under my seat. To hold the belly down on the back of my seat here. Did the same thing on the back here. I showed you guys the new yoke I made that was bigger than the old one. This is something interesting. I didn't find one of those. Um, I did find one of those camping um, canoe. Uh, what do you call them? Cylinder type thing. Found one online. Let's see, um, someone suggested that I put this in the middle to hold it down. Um, found it online, paid five bucks for it, got it home and it was brittle and all busted in the bottom, so that was a fail. Waste of five bucks. Sometimes marketplace isn't as reliable as you think. I mean, needless to say, I found this plastic flower pot. That's exactly the height that I needed, well, a little bit taller. And so I wedged it underneath with some help. And it seems to be holding the bottom down. I'll paint it all to make it look like it's going to work, probably drill some holes in it as a rod holder. I don't like this idea of the rod holder that I put over here, so I'm probably going to take those off. I was coming up with a new rod holder design. So as you can see, the canoe is nice and straight, and the bottom's sticking in the water, toward the water. I still have some gas canning happening. I'll show you what I'm working on now. It's a rod and cup holder, so it can have some hands free. So PVC pipe, larger one, smaller one, some zip ties, and this wonderful stuff, I forget what those are called, but two different size PVC. This will be the rod holder on this side, so you can stick the rod in there, put a zip tie underneath so the rod doesn't fall all the way through. And then the same thing with the cup holder, this one's wide enough to hold a can. I'll play pop right here. Let's show you right here. This one can hold a can of pop. So it'll sit on the side. Let's stick it on the side there. Sit on the side, you can hold a can of pop. And your rod at the side too. Once I get this fed through, I'm gonna attach it to the gunnel. Not gun wall, gunnel. Attach it to there, and then I'll put it far enough ahead so the person riding in the front, see, can paddle off to the side without hitting their can or their rod. It'll be pretty cool. Stay tuned.